What is up, everybody? Welcome to this new video of TechPress. Let's see how we can create an actual landing page into our WordPress. The process actually is really, really, really simple. I'm going to be showing you how to do this totally for free. There are a few steps, of course, that we needed to skip if you want to have an actual custom URL, if you wanted to have like the best tools in the WordPress. But still, I believe like the best way to do this, it would be inside WordPress. And the very free version is like, it's really, really helpful. So let's just get started and jump right directly into the tutorial. The very first thing you wanted to do is to go into the wordpress.com. You wanted to sign up using whatever email you wanted to. And then later on, it's going to be asking you to choose an actual domain. In my case, let's say that I wanted to create something for if this is an actual landing page, what I wanted to do is to talk about only one product. So let's say that I wanted to, uh, let's say, talk about the best toys. I'm going to go for toy um, offer of the 2023. So toy 2023, or let's go for toy buck. And now if you see, we have an actual WordPress free version. So here into select and we choose the flavor of our WordPress. So uh, having an actual plan is going to be helping us to have access to the free ad experience, to have paid subscribers. We have the free domain for one year and we don't have an actual storage. But here, I just want to focus into the free version only for the purpose of this tutorial. Let's focus into how we can create a landing page. If you later on wanted to upgrade your, your store, your online store, your post, your landing page, that's totally up to you. Now, since we are making an actual landing page, what I want to do is to, let's say that I wanted to promote a landing page. So we're gonna go for promote myself or business, hit into continue, and then we have an actual picking a design. So I have blogs, I have business, I have portfolio, store about the link in bio and the newsletter. So you can choose this uh, later on if you want to. But speaking about the landing page, this is something that can be really useful to just import all the information in just one place. For example, let's say that I wanted to add a contact form. So here into the LinkedIn bio, we have this contact form. Um, landing page is like using just one um, one page at a time. All the information you want to see this into just one place. So I believe that for a landing page, uh, like the best one that can be really useful is the one that says this one actually. So I kind of like to choose the one that best fits for you guys. You don't want to use the one that I'm using. Just choose the one that best fits for you. So choose this option. You can see it before, but in my case, I think I'm just gonna uh, leave it like that. Now. Um, we can change the header, we can change the the homepage, we can change the folder, we can change the style, we can change the fonts, and we can go into continue. Now here, before we continue, we can customize our homepage. So here into my header, there's actually no header. Header refers to the menu bar and the about the home and the context. Since we are creating an actual landing page, I don't think it's important to have an actual header. So I'm just gonna leave this into no header. Now into the home page, I can add a few patterns. So we're gonna click into add patterns. And here, for example, I have like an image gallery. So I can use the description of an image, something about our work, something about, uh, let's say for example, that I wanted to add this one. And automatically this element should be added inside my new pattern. So if you liked it, hit into save. If you wanted to add more stuff here into the add your pattern, let's say that I wanted to add a call to action. So let's say that I add the very first one. And I believe that this one is actually like truly helpful to a landing page. So I'm going to move this into the upper side. So I click here and I go into up, up, and there we go. So you can choose this option. You can remove this. Check it out how it's going to be looking my landing page. Now, later on, I wanted to go for context, for example. So send us a message. I click here or get in touch. There we go. So it's really, really useful. So I'm going to just move the patterns that I left the most um, to move this into the upper side. So for example, this one down here. And there we go. So I'm going to scroll a little bit down. If you want to add more stuff about the contact version, chat and WhatsApp, register, get in touch all the information, newsletter, podcast. Uh, usually you can add your own shop store into the very first uh, product. For example, here we have the shop now, or you can just click here into uh, the product of the price, how it's much going to be taking. So just move this into here. Uh, there you go. 
so it's looking great right so as you can see here's my landing page everything is now uh, looking great now if i wanted to make something a little bit more easier than that let's say that my landing page is for um letting people to scroll the less the better so i delete this info i just leave this i choose this one I go here to send us a message. I think that I want to focus into just this one and I remove it. So people are not going to be scrolling like a lot because there's only two elements though. Hitting to save and now we have the patterns already been added. So I'm going to go back and then we have the footer. Now the footer is something that can be helping you just to uh, if you want to add like a newsletter, you have to add like a blog, the sign it with um, all of the elements. So I added, added there hit into save and now later on we have the colors of your actual branding so choose the one that best fits for you you can change this later so you don't have to worry about that in my case i'm going to just leave it to default and then we have the font so after you have successfully done this hit into continue and as you can see just wait a few seconds and check it out how this the actual wordpress is actually creating your your very first landing page so now what is left to be done is to customize this so i'm going to hit into launch your site and as you can see my site is now live so before i click into view site uh, what I want to do is to edit my actual site. So go into the section that says pages. Here into pages, what I wanted to do is to check it out the page that we have just created. In our case, it's just one time page, which in my case is the home page. So I click here and automatically this should be sending me into the editor, but now into the actual um, landing page, the website that we have just created. So what is left to be done is just to, let's say, delete the element that you don't want to see, change this one, for example, here. I'm going to go for humans. Uh, this feature image, you can change this uh, for the one that fits, fits for you. Um, shop now, send us a message. So fill all the information that you are looking for, hit into save and then you can publish this, hit into build your site, and there you go. So it's really, really easy, guys, to create a landing page here into WordPress. Once again, if you wanted to have more features, more plugins that you can use into WordPress, you can go back into your site, inside dashboard of WordPress. So I'm gonna go here into my sites, you, should, you select the one that fits for you the best and here into plugins you can add a lot of stuff but once again this one needs to have an upgrade to an actual plan but it's totally up to you with that being said i think we have not covered the basics you now know how to create a landing page totally for free if you are ready to skip to the next level you can check it out the new prices that are available into your country or the actual WordPress. So don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel, guys, if you want to see more amazing tools of how you can get started here into WordPress and landing pages and all that. Thank you once again for watching the video, and hopefully I can see you on the next video.